The Russo-Ukrainian War Getting Into Vladimir Putin's Head Part 1, Vladimir Putin's Early Path Hello, this is John Nasho reporting for the Objective News Network. In part one of our three-part series, The Russo-Ukrainian War, Getting Into Vladimir Putin's Head, we will very briefly examine Russian President Vladimir Putin's childhood, education, and early career. In part two, we will examine some of the factors that helped to shape Vladimir Putin's worldview in the context of the Russo-Ukrainian War. In part three, we will briefly explore what Vladimir Putin may really be thinking as he continues his war of aggression against Ukraine. At the Objective News Network, we use a powerful new software research tool called Authentication. Authentication helps us to find dependable sources of information quickly and easily from across the internet to support all of our news analysis. So let's begin by typing in Vladimir Putin's childhood into authentication. Immediately, authentication brings up a data set at PBS Frontline that provides a series of interviews with various observers of Putin and the Russian scene. For those of you who may be interested in a more detailed look at the thinking of Vladimir Putin, it is an excellent site to explore. Here's another interesting data set at the India Herald entitled Putin's Childhood and its Shadow over Ukraine and Other Wars by Darpon Singh. Singh tells us that Putin was born in 1952 in Leningrad, now St. Petersburg a city that lived under a long Nazi siege during World War II that killed most of the population. His father was badly wounded in the war. His mother nearly died of starvation. Before Putin was born, his parents had lost two children. They had a room in a ramshackle apartment with two families. His father worked in a factory. His mother did odd jobs. Putin was left to fend for himself against bullying in his neighborhood. In essence, Putin faced issues of food, shelter, attachment, bullying, and inherited parental trauma. Close quote. Here's another interesting data set at the Evening Standard giving the following account of Vladimir Putin's difficult childhood. According to the article, the family lived in a ramshackle Soviet apartment with two other families in a block of flats that was apparently infested with rats. There were hordes of rats in the front entryway. My friends and I used to chase them with sticks, Putin wrote in his 2000 autobiography. Once, I spotted a huge rat and pushed it down the hall until I drove it into a corner. It had nowhere to run. Suddenly, it lashed around and threw itself at me. I was surprised and frightened. Now the rat was chasing me. Luckily, I was a little bit faster, and I managed to slam the door shut in its nose. There, on that stair landing, I got a quick and lasting lesson in the meaning of the word cornered. Okay, now back to authentication. This time, let's type in Vladimir Putin's education. At the Russian TASS news agency, we are told that Putin learned German as a young student attending St. Petersburg High School 281 and speaks German as his second language. After getting high grades in high school, Putin graduated from the international law branch of Leningrad University. In 1975, he underwent a retraining course of KGB operatives in Leningrad, followed in 1979 by further training at Moscow's Dzerzhinsky Higher School of the KGB. In 1985, he graduated from the Andropov Institute of the KGB of the USSR. 
1997, Putin defended his doctoral dissertation in the sciences at the St. Petersburg Mining Institute. Here's another very interesting data set entitled Putin's Plagiarism, Fake Ukrainian Degrees, and Other Tales of World Leaders Accused of Fraud at Conversation.com. Again, I quote, Accusations against Putin first surfaced in 2006 when an investigation by the Brookings Institution alleged he copied about 16 pages of his 200-page PhD dissertation from other sources. Twelve years later, the Russian strongman found himself defending against accusations that his dissertation had been ghostwritten. According to former Russian legislator Olga Litvinenko, Putin's dissertation was written by her father, Vladimir Litvinenko, Putin's academic advisor and the rector of St. Petersburg Mining University, close quote. The same article goes on to state, and again I quote, also helpful in writing Putin's dissertation, says Litvinenko, a photocopy machine. Employing the only cut-and-paste technology available in the late 1990s, she says her father helped Putin cheat by using scissors to snip paragraphs from various sources, glued them together, and copied them to create new pages in his dissertation, close quote. Putin has never responded to the allegations. Next, Let's type in Vladimir Putin's early career. Here at businessinsider.com, we find a data set on the book, The New Czar, The Rise and Reign of Vladimir Putin by Stephen Lee Myers, telling us that Putin was recruited as a KGB agent after graduating from university and that his early years on the job consisted of working in a gloomy office filled with aging staffers, and I quote, pushing papers at work, still living at home with his parents, without a room of his own. From there, Putin was selected to attend training school number 401 in St. Petersburg, where would-be officers learned intelligence tactics and interrogation techniques and trained physically. In 1976, he was promoted to first lieutenant. In 1985, Putin adopted the cover identity of a translator and transferred to Dresden, Germany. It is speculated that while in Dresden, Putin engaged in a range of spying activities, such as counterintelligence and monitoring foreigners, worked with the KGB's Fifth Directorate, which was dedicated to crushing political dissidents, recruiting top East German Communist Party and Stasi officials, stealing technological secrets, compromising visiting Westerners, or traveling undercover to West Germany on spy missions. The business on insider.com data set goes on to tell us that Putin's tenure in the KGB, which occurred during a time when the USSR's power crumbled on the international stage, may have helped to shape Putin's current worldview. That concludes our very brief overview of Russian President Vladimir Putin's childhood, education, and early career. In part two of our series, we will briefly examine some of the factors that may have helped to shape Vladimir Putin's current worldview in the context of the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war. It is what it is for September 11th, 2022. This is John Nasher reporting for the Objective News Network. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time.